What's up everyone, my name is Ashton Orkitty and welcome back to the Advanced Warfare Livecoms. In today's episode, episode 2, we will be using the EM1, as suggested by Leo Foster. Also Leo, that was a bit rude to end though, so I, I would appreciate an apology in the comment section below. But anyway, that does mean that we'll be using the EM1 today. I'm thinking I'm just going to do these in Team Deathmatch, just as I always did in Black Ops 2. But this is the class that we'll be using. Got the red dot sight, full grip, as well as the stock on this bitch. So hopefully we can do something better than just absolute shit, which is what I've been doing over the past couple of games. Oh, I'll get laser beamed in the face. But I'm not sure if you guys have managed to use this laser gun at all. But to be blatant, it is quite shit once you get past medium range. Oh, am I gonna get a three piece? You would fuck. Oh, my days. How are they gonna rob me of that three piece right there? Is he still in here? Oh! Get fucking burnt! It is quite satisfying to kill people with this, though. Another good thing is that. Oh, they just want me to have a three piece. Please. No! <laughs> Oh, I choked that so hard. But as I was saying, the good thing about this gun is that there is basically no point in aiming down sights. I don't know why I reloaded there. But <laughs> there's... Am I, why do I keep reloading? Where are you going? Looks like I am playing against absolute bellends. Nick, my nut. Oh my. That's the thing, you come up against any other gun than the M1, you get ruined. Proper wrecked. What are these kids doing? Are they just lagging really hard or something? Oh, you're still there. Let me guess, he's still gonna be here. Bitch, you guessed it! <laughs> you was right. I mean, I'm not gonna say you're camping, but it definitely is quite suspicious of you to be sitting there for that long. And that's all I'll say. I swear to God, if this dude is still here... Oh, you're on my team. Just had a little heart attack. Alright, he's not there. Just had a little bit of a pre fire oh, okay, maybe he is. No, I was just kidding. Is it the same dude? Oh, it is! That's fantastic! Hopefully- Oh, he anticipated it. Congratulations to you, sir. You're still gonna be in this building, I can tell. What did I tell you? Oh, I wanted to fall down. Perfect. Also, the auto mantle that sometimes happen is- is a great feature that they implemented and I'm glad that they put it in. Who's this dude? Oh, there he is. Good. But sometimes it can really fuck you up. Like if you're going to shoot someone when you're walking back off a ledge and you like, you want to drop down, but then you auto mantle back up right on top of them. Like this missile just entered my body. But yeah, you walk off a building and then just mantle right back up on top of them. These guys really like that building. They just enjoy it thoroughly. That's a bombing run. Let's go inside. I hate going back to the exact same spot over and over again. Oh, fantastic. Now, I'm not going to say that they're camping, but it definitely is suspicious as to why they were sitting there for that long. And I'll leave it at that. Is that guy on my team? No, he wasn't. Rise, motherfucker. Oh, fuck. He just outplayed me. Kudos, young sir. So where the... Oh, thought there was a person, but it's not. It's a car. Common misconception. Oh, you're about to get ruined. Maybe not. Oh, look at that pre-fire with my laser. Okay. That is quite questionable. <laughs> oh, you're about to get ruined. G'day, mate. I saw you. Get my laser beam in your face. Okie dokie, matey buddy boy. So yeah, overall impressions of the EM1. Bit of fun to use if you're looking for a bit of a banter cannon which is actually what they should rename this gun to the banter cannon. But if you're wanting to get some decent YouTube commentary worthy, uh, what do you call them? YouTube worthy gameplays as they say, probably not your best bet to use this weapon. So I'm gonna go back this way and I already know that I'm gonna get fucked up by those kids in that room to my right at the minute. Oh look at that strafe. Not anticip- oh he was, glad, bothered. I know you want to pop your head out. Well, okie dokie. This laser beam turns into a laser pointer once you get past like four meters away from them. Hop! Oh fuck, they're in their last kill. What? No! Well, that was actually a lot better than I thought I was gonna go. What do we do? Four. Oh, okay. Fuck you, little fucking candy cunt. You little fucking laser gun, you astronaut kitty. Fuck you. Fucking faggot. Shit. 
fucking shit down. Crawl back in your fucking mother's asshole. Stretch that fucking ass and slap him back up there, you fucking pussy. Alright guys, that's going to do it for this live commentary today. Now, usually I don't do outro comms to these and I probably won't do them in the future, but given the current circumstances, I thought that it was necessary. So while I'm recording, I actually have my PX21 headset plugged into my laptop and that's how I record my audio while I'm playing. But I actually have no way of hearing the game audio while I'm recording these live comms. And then on top of that, I have to put the game audio from the TV all the way down so that there's no sort of echo coming through my mic on the headset as well. So unfortunately at the time of recording there was no way that I could respond or even hear what this dude was saying, which is quite unfortunate because we would have given him a bit of a roast. But hopefully in the near future when I get my new setup that I've been pining over since I was like 12 years old, we should be able to record that as well at the time and we can get a bit of banter going on. But anyway that's going to do it for today, thank you very much Leo for the suggestion. EM1 equals angry kids on Call of Duty apparently. But this is the National Kitty and hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!